Okay, so how is partying in Las Vegas for New Year's Eve and is it even worth it? Today in this video, I'm gonna be going over the pros and cons of partying in Las Vegas for New Year's Eve, things to know, things to look out for, and how to go about it. Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Norman J. I'm a nightclub promoter here in Las Vegas. If you and your friends are coming here to party, then I can help. Okay, so first let's get the facts laid out. There are about 300,000 visitors that come to Las Vegas for that weekend. The big fireworks show at midnight that includes multiple casinos, typically the MGM, Aria, Caesars, Venetian, and Resorts World. Now, extremely important to know, Las Vegas Boulevard is completely blocked off to cars from about 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Don't quote me on the times, but it, it's all of the evening. It's all the, the entire night. So the whole Las Vegas main strip is like this monster block party. So there's hella people walking around, walking around the strip, and because you can always drink on the strip, so they just don't allow glass. Um, all of the liquor shops are not gonna be selling the glass version of the liquor for that night. Now on to the party evaluation for New Year's Eve in Las Vegas. So New Year's Eve is considered a holiday weekend in Las Vegas nightlife, which means all of the nightclubs is gonna have their A-list headliners performing. So the big ones are the chain smokers are gonna be at XS, Elenium is going to be at Hakkasan, uh, Steve Aoki is going to be at Omnia, Tiesto is going to be at Zook, and Chris Brown is going to be at Dre's nightclub. Every nightclub will have the countdown incorporated into the night, usually done by the headliner themselves, but not every nightclub has visible fireworks or a good view of the visible fireworks shows. XS, for example, has a very minimal view of the fireworks shows. Uh, Zook and Hakkasan have none. Omnia and Dre's nightclub, however, probably have the best view of the fireworks shows, maybe of all time. Uh, that's probably debatable, definitely of the nightclubs. So uh, they have a balcony area for, for both. You can see all of the fireworks shows from both balcony areas. Some of the clubs will do open bar champagne for the ladies. Okay, so now will there be a free guest list for any of these nightclubs? So the answer is most likely for girls, there will be a guest list for almost all of these clubs, maybe just not Dre's. For guys accompanied with girls, we'll probably have to wait until closer to the dates to know if there will be a free guest list for those. Every venue can be different and it's based off of ticket sales. Okay, things to keep in mind. It is very, very cold in Las Vegas for New Year's Eve. It might be one of the coldest weeks out of the year. So keep that in mind with nightclubs that have an outdoor section like XS, Omnia, and Dre's. And because the strip is shut down, moving around on the strip is a nightmare. And in most cases, it's actually better to walk than to try and get there by with a car. So if you're planning on going to a nightclub, what hotel you're staying at could really, really matter. Generally speaking, the nightclubs aren't too crazy on the other nights of the weekend besides New Year's Eve. But this year, New Year's Eve does fall on the perfect day of Saturday night. And it is a cool spectacle to see the nightclubs and the Vegas Strip shut down for New Year's Eve. It is definitely a one-of-a-kind experience in Vegas. Okay, now do I recommend Las Vegas for New Year's Eve? Me, myself, I live here and I work at the club. I'm a club guy, uh, so I'll definitely be at the club. Now, if I didn't live in Las Vegas, do I recommend going to Las Vegas to party for New Year's Eve? Now, my answer is not a clear yes or no. I think that if you go to Vegas a lot, then you should definitely check out Vegas for New Year's Eve because it's different, it's special. It's not, the, it's not quite the same. But let's say you don't go to Vegas that many times a year or you don't have any of that vacations to take. If I can only pick Vegas one or two times a year, then I would for sure pick pool season because the day clubs are, are the best parties in Las Vegas. Okay, so to wrap it up for Las Vegas New Year's Eve, Las Vegas is crazy busy, crazy popping, crazy cold, and crazy to get around. If you guys need any help with Vegas nightlife, guest lists or table reservations, you can DM me on Instagram, it's right here. Or you can shoot me a text, my number's right here. And follow me if you're coming to Vegas.